Hello, good morning. It's Saturday morning. You know what that means. Time for another Saturday style how-to. Today, we're gonna tackle a question I've been asked day in and day out since the day I started my Instagram. That's a lot of days I just said in that one sentence. I've avoided this question like crazy. Is anything that can be taken to weird fetish levels of interest, I try to steer clear of. But for the sake of being the modern gentleman's guide to the universe, this is definitely part of being a modern gentleman. For those of you that don't know, your body, when you grow up, grows hair on it. Welcome to the real world. Now that that shock is set in, like any other hair on your body, it needs to be maintained. You never got your hair cut, you'd look pretty silly. Same goes for your body hair. Unless you're just blessed to be born Michael Phelps style and just swim out of the womb and just keep cruising through life, your hairless wonder. But for most of us, we grow body hair. We gotta deal with it. How do we deal with it? Manscaping. It's called manscaping, that's right. Yeah, I guess that like man hedging wasn't available. Cause it's pretty much what it is. It's think of a garden growing, how do we keep this on track here guys? Think of bush, bushes. God. Think of plants. No, think of hedges, hedges, that's exactly right. You gotta trim your hedges, trim the freaking hedges in front of your house. You know, here's your house, trim it, make it look pretty so that people wanna come into your house. <laughs> so that people will enjoy viewing your home. That was much better choice of words. So much like landscaping, manscaping is managing the hair on your property. We're gonna, <laughs> gonna try to keep this as clean as possible right now. So for anybody who knows anything about gardening or any job in general, you typically need tools or a tool. In this case, tools. And I'm not just talking about me standing here in a low slung towel. We're talking about electric razors. So this is a attachment head for your face. <laughs> Scary. So that popped off. And then you also have what's called, uh, keep it serious guys, heads. Clipper heads? I don't fucking, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. What are these called? That's gonna bother me now. Anyways, so you've got these different tools out of this one tool. That would be to trim your beard, this would be to get a clean shave, this be for your bot. Oh yeah. This goes on this bad boy like that so that if you do so choose to keep a little bit of hair, this will be a guard. Oh, it's called a guard. Duh. It's a guard. That just came to me. I'm sorry for interrupting myself. I'm sorry, you. Doing your thing with your towel and your razor. Anyways, so if you do so choose, this will keep a certain distance from your hair, from your, this, what? <laughs> ah. If you do so choose, this will keep the razor a certain distance from the surface of your skin, meaning that you will have longer stubble, which equals a style. And there's different settings. This would be the one that I would use on my quads because I don't like to look like a hairless naked mole rat. So I leave a little bit of hair on my quads and I don't touch my calves or my arms because I'm not a zero killer. And also, don't shave your armpits. Unless you're a woman, then shave your armpits. Double standard, I'm sorry ladies. But yeah, so it's really simple. You get everything you need out of this one tool, which is really cool and uh, it's Philips Norelco. I have no idea what this is called because I've had this since I was like 12, right? It's. November, rough beard happening, body hair, like, uh, what do I look like? What do I, actually, it's not that bad, it's kind of cool, I kind of dig it. It's working for me right now. No complaints from the ladies, it's not affecting my swimming ability yet, so I'll let you know, Michael Phelps, if it uh, takes a couple seconds off my laps. What you would typically do is if against the grain. What that means. I don't know if you guys can see this. We're gonna try. I'm gonna get intimate with you guys. Look at me, don't make this weird. All right. So, you can see that the pattern of growth on my chest is kind of 
fucking sick, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a big swirly like poof of manliness. I like to shave against the grain to get a closest shave that I can. With this, you're not gonna get like a razor smooth shave, but you're also gonna avoid ingrown hairs. And can we agree, can we get it from the ladies? Ladies, where are you at? There's nothing more unattractive than a big festering ingrown hair in or around your genital region. That's like sitting down to dinner and being like, hmm, and then there's like a pile of dead rodents and body hair on the table next to your dinner. You're probably gonna be like, hmm, I'm not so hungry for that steak anymore now that there's a dead rat next to it. It ruins the moment. Don't be that guy, don't ruin the moment. And you know what? Dudes too, I'm pretty sure that whether you're into dudes or chicks or animals or pigeons or whatever, what have you, I don't know if you, maybe you love volleyballs and you live on an island and you named it Wilson. I don't care, I don't judge, that's not my job. Except you, for you, and your beliefs. But we're not gonna start on that political bullshit because I've had quite enough of that, if I'm frank with you guys. I'm sick and tired of all this politics. It grows down, out, up, and then straight up. So I will come like this, across, and down, and repeat until it's done. And then you move down. That was really sexual and I apologize, mom. You have really thin skin, I don't know, I just wanted to show you that. I'm just gonna show up. Hey, everybody, look at how shredded I am. Woo! Welcome to my YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, so this thing fires up, cuts your hair off, you're smooth as a baby's bottom and you're just diving like a porpoise swimming through the waters, climbing down an avalanche that's coming down a mountain. It's a song by the Toadies, look it up. First things first, I'm gonna trim my beard. You guys probably don't wanna watch that because, well, whatever, who cares? I don't really care. You're gonna watch me do it anyways. So this is what I look like with a half-ass goatee. Um, that's never gonna happen. So, my friends, that is how we say kaput. Das is kaput. Just like today, if you say anything about anybody that isn't politically correct, you are automatically committing a hate crime and you go straight to prison, do not collect $200. Um, no, well, A, I don't want to hate on anybody because I'm not like that. You guys know. Spread the love. That's my. What the fuck is that noise? Holy shit. That's not supposed to happen. 1600. Get your shit together. I'm calling you later. Oh, stretch. I'm not gonna let you guys watch me do the next part. Uh, three reasons for that mainly. One, I don't really want to. Two, kind of your personal business. Keep it to yourself. Three, hella creepy and possibly misinterpreted as some kind of fetish board. So we're gonna dodge that bullet so like Neo in the Matrix. Boop, boop, boop. All your creepers are going that way. We're gonna stay right here. Anyways, so we're gonna cut back and uh, I'll be cleanly shaven. And that's that. Well, that's that guys. Hopefully you learned a little something and you kept it somewhat unperverse. Take away from this, you need the right tools for the job. A gentle touch. Be careful around your gentleman sausage. Aside from that, it's pretty much common sense, guys. So get to manscaping, do your thing. But until next time, stay sexy, eat well, dress well, and don't forget to smile.